Today we're going to talk about the number one tool you should be using when you are working with a success factors load files. And no, it is not Excel. What is it? Stick around and find out. In business, we live in an Excel world. Uh, we use Excel for pretty much everything. Um, unfortunately, when it comes to dealing with SuccessFactors files, uh, Excel has a few uh, drawbacks. Um, really a couple that I really wanna highlight right now. Number one is that it uh, uh, interprets anything that looks like a number as a number. So that makes leading zeros, if you have them, uh, completely drop, um, which can cause big problems. An another big problem with Excel is that it, by default, at least for the US build, uh, does not open files with, Unico with Unicode support. And so what this means is that uh, any non-Western characters can show up um, and not be interpreted properly. So uh, both of these uh, are reasons why you really don't want to be using Excel to deal with the with the uh, success factors CSV files. So instead, uh, we're going to talk about another tool that we can use in order to update and maintain files uh, for success factors, and we're going to talk about that right now. What I'm going to show you now is a, a tool that allows us to bypass those issues, and, and that tool is called OpenOffice. And so OpenOffice you can see here I, I'm on the website openoffice.org basically it's an open source version of Microsoft Office and so uh, it's free to use um, it's uh, widely used so it's not some sketchy thing uh, uh, to try out there's a lot of people that are out there using it and it's, it's and it's completely safe so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just show you um, real simply how to use uh, open office uh, with uh, success factors files. So uh, um, uh, basically I'm gonna type in, I'm going to open office calc. So after I've downloaded and installed the program, that's what you're going to see here. Now, um, what I'm doing now is opening the file directly from here. But basically what I usually do is I have all my CSVs automatically updated, uh, um, uh, open in open office. So I don't even have to go through this process. But basically I'm gonna just go into open and I've created a simple demo file uh, to show you how, um, uh, you know, the benefits of open office. So, um, I'm gonna pull this up and immediately, uh, unlike Excel, it's going to uh, open up in a wizard uh, and, and you're going to be able to choose what format you want everything to be in. Now, the first time you open after you install, make sure to set the character set to Unicode, but from that point forward, the Unicode should set automatically. As you can see here, we have a, a, a last name with Unicode, um, with a Unicode character, which would get messed up if we were opening in Excel. Also notice, though, that we have um, leading zeros, which, of course, in Excel, those are going to automatically get dropped because Excel is going to treat uh, every cell that looks like a number as a number. So here's what you can do using open office uh, basically you can click on the first field hit shift and then just right click all the way across and then you can change the column type to text so what does that do so you know when we're working with with uh, uh, files and uh, for success factors we really just want uh, whatever is in the file to be uh, rendered uh, uh, based off of what's there we don't want uh, Excel or any program to interpret what it's seeing we just purely want whatever the text is that's in the file to come through so uh, by highlighting all the fields and then just saying text, you're basically saying, hey, don't even worry about trying to render anything. Just give me what is ever in whatever is in the file. So I, I, I highlight all of those. I click OK and you will see, voila, um, we have the file open and everything is rendered faithfully based off of what was there. So leading zeros get saved. Um, and Unicode gets saved. So you basically, now you can save the file in CSV and you can uh, feel confident that the file is going to have exactly what it should. So that's pretty much it um, as far as like how you use OpenOffice. So again, hopefully uh, you can see the benefit of using this instead of Excel.